Okay, so let's play around with content types to see how this thing works. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a content type and then I'm going to apply the content type to a document or to, <coughs> excuse me, to, <coughs> to a list. So I'm going to go into site actions, site settings, modify all site settings, and then I will see something here called site content types. I'm going to click on that and then you can see here a list of all the content types that come standard out of the box. Now the most primitive form of content type is an item and uh, everything can stem from an item. You can inherit content types. So when I create a content type, I can say I want to inherit a document content type and expand on that. Pretty powerful concept. What I'm going to do now actually is pretty simple. I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a content type called project. And the idea here is I want every department that is managing projects to be able to use this content type to, uh, you know, to update their projects, their project statuses, and maybe later we can have a roll up uh, that will show us the project statuses altogether. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create the project content type. So I'm going to hit create and I'm going to call this project and the parent content type which we have to pick is for me is going to be pretty much a list it's not going to be uh, anything is going to be an item so I'm going to pick the list content types and I'm just going to say make this an item so this is the most primitive form of content type um, because you know a project doesn't really fit into any of those categories so anyway so we're going to continue further here we're going to come down here we're going to create we're going to put this project as part of a group just so we can segregate it on its own so we know it's our custom one and we're going to call this um, my my org group okay and here we go so we I just created a content type the content type is now pretty much blank all that has is one column and it has no workflows there's nothing really attached to it right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep the title column because that will be the title of my project. And I'm going to add some new site columns that define what a project, what I want to track about my project. So I want to track maybe the uh, project manager. I want to know who the project manager is and that's going to be a person. And I'm going to uh, create my own group here called my org also this is for the for the site columns I'm creating a site column right now and update all content types inheriting from this content type so as you can see here I have that option I'm gonna hit OK for now go down so here's my project manager I'm gonna add uh, another site column and I want them to report the status and the status is going to be a multi-line text just to explain kind of what uh, the status of the project is six lines of text I'm gonna make it just plain text there's no need for rich text and we're gonna hit OK uh, it's telling me that the status field is being used so I'm just gonna call it project status and I'm gonna create one more column and I'm going to make this column, uh, I'm going to call it the, uh, maybe the budget. Okay, so I'm going to create that. I'm going to make that into a monetary value or a currency. And I'm going to put that under my org. And I will make that uh, of this format. And we're good to go. So I just want to track a couple of things about the project. Obviously, I can track more. I can track track you know percent complete. Um, I can track a whole bunch of other metrics that I want about my projects. You know, depending on how you know depending on what I want to do. But this is sufficient for now. What I'm gonna, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my enterprise portal. I'm going to go to finance, and I am going to create. Uh, I'm going to create a custom list 
Okay, I'm gonna call it projects, or let's call it finance. Let's call it project. I'm gonna go ahead and create that project. I should have called it project, but that's fine. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the settings. I'm gonna click on list settings. And then I will come down here and I will enable something here called, under advanced settings, called enable content types. Yes, I want to enable content types. And it's good. And now that I enabled it, I will see a content types section here. And by default, like I said, you know, everything is pretty much item. So this is an item. I'm going to go ahead and add from an existing site content type. So I want to make this custom list support my content type. And I will pick my org, my project, and there we go. So now we have, so now this list, this custom list that I created, which is called project, uh, supports item and project. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of item because we don't have any use for that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and 